Welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. The yacht behind me is a Majesty Yachts 140. Now officially this yacht is 141 feet. We've been given access to do a full tour of this super yacht today. So let's go ahead and get started. So right at the back, you do have a hydraulic swim platform. And then under this transom door, you have a little beach club area. So you have some freestanding tables and chairs. And then this door will lead us to the engine room, but we'll check that out last. You can head up into the aft deck from either side, where you'll find two different teak tables with some U-shaped seating that wraps around. You notice you get extra space off the side decks because these areas will fold down. And you also have this feature on the opposite side and you can see what it looks like with the teak. Now if we step forward, we will make our way into the main salon. Majesty has done an incredible job making this space both a modern design, but also timeless. There's a TV behind this panel. And you have large windows on either side that give you tons of natural light in this space. You can see here is the formal dining room where you have a setting for 10. This yacht does sleep up to 10 guests and seven crew. If we move forward on the port side, this will bring us to the galley. Looks like you have Mila appliances on this one. Really good size double sink. Wine fridge. Looks like a Mila espresso or coffee machine. I've never seen that before. And then obviously you have all of your refrigerators and freezers. There's a little dinette space right here. And very quickly, we're gonna quickly look at the crew area. We're not gonna look at all of the cabins, but down here, this is where the main six will stay. So you have bunk rooms in all of these spaces. This is a really good size crew area. You have a little desk, good size closets, and then the en suites. And this is a wet room. The captain's cabin is up actually behind the bridge. So six crew sleep down here and the captain sleeps upstairs. I think we will wrap around. This leads us back into the main salon. And then there is a side access door here. So this sort of acts as a foyer because you have the staircase going up and down right here. But you do have a main deck master as you'd expect. Before we get there, here is the day head. The lights light up automatically. And through this door is the master cabin. Starting with this dressing table. You have a huge walk-in closet. You have seating over here. And then of course your king bed. And this is such an amazing feature. You have a little private oasis out here with two sliding glass doors. There's not furniture out there currently, but obviously you could put a couple of chairs and a little coffee table out there. And then the ensuite is forward. You have a large rainfall shower and bench. You do have a full-size tub in here. And then your double vanity. I believe in here is the toilet. So that is the master cabin. 
really well laid out. And if we head down these stairs, this will bring us to the guest cabins. So like I said, those lights lit up automatically. There's some storage right here. You have a large bed in here, great big windows and a dressing table. Large closet or closets, I should say. And then here is the ensuite. And similar to all the other TVs, they're sort of hidden behind this glass panel. So this can act as a mirror or the TV. You have another VIP cabin right here. It's very similar to the last one. I think they're actually identical. And then moving forward, we have a couple of single beds in here. And I believe these can be moved together if you want to form a larger queen bed. And here is the ensuite for this room. And I also noticed this really cool storage feature up here. We have mirrors behind here and different shelves for storage. Both really great from a design perspective. It looks really nice, but it's also functional. And then here is the last guest cabin. So those are all of the cabins. Now if we head upstairs, this will lead us to the pilot house. There are side access doors on both sides of this room. Little sofa area and table if you want to join the captain while you're underway. You have this feature up in the ceiling. And take a look at this home station. You can see the camera system for the yacht. And also you can monitor a bunch of systems from up here as well. I like the forward leaning windshield. Very aggressive looking. I think it looks pretty sharp. Then like I said, the captain's cabin is actually up here behind the bridge. And this cabin is just as nice as any of the other guest cabins. Look at that. You have a little office space. And then the head. So we'll check out the bow later on in the tour. I think we'll do all the interior spaces first. So I think this is another day head. Yep. Then if we go through this door, So there actually was a client in the Sky Lounge. So let's actually look at the bow first. Here is a wing station, and you'll have one of these on the opposite sides as well. You can see we're sort of hanging out farther than the rest of the yacht. So you get a good look when you're backing into a slip. And then if we step forward to the bow area, you have some beautiful teak tables, 
seating area that wraps around this table. And you also have jet ski storage up here. And those get released into the water with this crane right here in the middle. And then the bell is forward. You can see the sky deck steps actually go down and that leads you to the main deck side deck. So whether or not the Sky Lounge has been cleared, I think we'll just take a quick look either way. Behind this door, there's a bar that leads into the Sky Lounge, so the crew can serve the guests in the Sky Lounge from behind in this area. So you see you have some refrigeration back here, a little cooktop and a sink, and some refrigeration. So, the sky deck is still occupied. So we're gonna head down these steps I was talking about. And this leads us back to the aft deck. So if we head up here, this is the aft bridge deck. You have a circular table out here, a sink and bar area, and some nice bar stools. These double doors lead to the sky lounge we've been trying to get to, but we'll continue on. Here is the sun deck. You have a really good size hot tub back here. You can see right here is another crane and this is where you store your tender. There's another bar with bar stools that wrap around. It looks like you have multiple places to cook up here. You have a large seating area around this teak table. This looks like it could fit all 10 guests on here. And then moving forward, you have even more seating up here. I believe it is. It's, <laughs> it's a really big pop-up light. Normally you see them, they're about that big and they just twist up. Obviously, this is much more heavy duty. And then in here, it's just a storage closet for the crew. Overhead, there's a hard top in the middle, but you have two different soft sections and both of these can retract. So you can really open up the sun deck. And on this side, you have a day head up here. So no matter where you are on the yacht, you don't have to travel far. if you need to use the restroom. It's good. So if you wave your hand here, the door opens up and we finally got the Sky Lounge cleared. You have a gorgeous seating area up here. Like I said, everything feels modern, yet timeless. 
You have another TV behind this mirror. And then here's the bar I was talking about where the crew can serve you from behind this section. So we've seen the bridge deck, so let's stay out of their way. So we'll travel over to the engine rooms. But we'll just take a different path to do so. Back in the dining and main salon. You can see there's touch buttons for open and close. Now you can access the engine room through this section here, but because the beach club door is open, I think we'll just walk back through there. So you have some engineering spaces in here. There is a backup patch if you need to use it. And then here are the engines on the super yacht. You have a pair of MTU 16V 2600 horsepower engines. Your top speed is right around 20 knots. You can cruise at 16. And if you drop the speed down to about 10 knots, you can actually travel 4,000 nautical miles. Obviously this is an ocean crossing capable vessel. You can see these two Kohler generators. And then forward through here, this looks like a crew space. You have your laundry facilities, a sink. These stairs lead up to that door in the aft deck I was talking about. But this is just a great storage and lazarette area. And you have more freezers down here too. So I think we're gonna end the tour right here on the aft deck. Thank you to Majesty Yachts for setting up this tour. This yacht will be listed down in the description below in a couple different places if you want to see it in more detail. Let me know what you thought of this super yacht in the comment section down below, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.